Alright, so if you've been following Dragon Ball at all recently, or Dragon Ball Fighters, you'd know that at the end of the Dragon Ball Fighters World Cup Finals, they announced what's probably gonna be the last patch of this game for a while. But for this video, I want to talk about the most wanted things from me from this next balance patch. I'm just gonna pick my two main teams. And if you agree with anything I say in this video, why not subscribe? Probably the most obvious is I need some of these characters to go, bruh. I need some of these fellas to get nerfed. Obviously, Gogeta definitely needs a nerf. Lab Coat needs a nerf. Vegito needs a nerf. But then some of the other characters that not many people talk about. And when I say not many people, I mean not many people at a casual level. Like Janemba, Android 17. Honestly, Android 17 himself is fine. It's just that assist that needs to go. And that's about it. And speaking of assists, Second thing I need is, this has gotta go, bro. Defensive assist, has how many frames of hit stun? Let me see. 73! Who thought that was a good idea? <laughs> I can literally run from full screen as soon as the assist hits and still confirm it. Like, how was that play tested? The next thing I wanna talk about is some buffs for some of these characters so i think that the biggest person who needs to get buffed is trunks i feel like trunks is the worst character in the game right now i know that um who plays trunks it was someone i think it was wawa who plays trunks but wawa is just good on his own he's just goaded vegeta needs to get buffed piccolo needs to get buffed piccolo needs a, a lot of help right now kefla really needs to get buffed i think kefla has dropped so far in my mental tier list kefla is i'd say kefla is like top of mid tier at this point because if you want to play kefla why not just play lab coat also i want to show you something about how i think kefla dropped in the tier list in this game so as we all know lab coat has a 6h just like kefla this move is minus 11 on block. Now, hypothetically speaking, if we're going on terms of fairness here, Lab Coat should have the exact same amount of negative frames. Why is it five? Why is she minus five there? Why does she get to be minus five when she has this? She has this? She has this? Like, it just doesn't make sense. I think the biggest issue with games right now is that the devs do not play their own game. And this is a perfect example of that. I think a great nerf to Lab Coat would be to just remove this move altogether. Like, 6M has 24 frame startup. Make this, like, 26. Make this 25 or something, man. Another thing I want to see changed is Empty Vanish. I think Empty Vanish is really, really strong. See, the strat with Empty Vanish is, let's say I'm in a block string, right? I spark, Empty Vanish, call assist, and I get a free mix up. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter what tech they do. If they up tech, I dash in, do that, full mix up. If they down tech, I call assist. They can't 2H me there. I get it. It's a one use thing. You can only use it one time per match, but... That is still extremely strong. I don't know what they would do though. Maybe make it two bars? Maybe I'm tweaking. I also want like an overhaul for the online system. You know how it shows you the person's Z union and that's it? Like why would I care about Z union? Show me their character. Show me who they are. Why, why are they so intent on keeping it secret from me? I'm gonna learn if I take the match anyway. If I want to dodge someone or I want to hunt someone down, let me do that. Speaking of sparking, I want this reverted. This is such a dumb change, man. This has no reason to be in the game. I've lost so many games off of that change alone. I probably have some footage from another video to show. Revert that, revert that, revert that. Revert that, revert that, revert that, revert that. Now, I don't really care about new characters in this game. Like, I think the roster looks fine as it is. But it would be cool to see some kind of new character before they just 
completely abandon this game which is what it seems like they're trying to do with this next patch because after this after they give us rollback they maybe shoot lab coat maybe shoot vegeto what else is there to do? It would be cool to see like one more character in this slot right here. Speaking of those Kefla buffs, I think I have a great addition to Kefla's kit. You know how she just has like no air moves and she's supposed to be like a ground brawler or whatever. So you can do this move in the air, right? There are all these orbs, but you can't throw one orb in the air. Why can't I do that? That doesn't make sense. Like, I get it. Majin 21 can't, so she shouldn't be able to. But maybe that's where she gets her uniqueness from. Also, for being a ground brawler, this is literally her only good move on the ground. One more thing before I'm done with this video is there were these patch notes that were leaked. Quote unquote. These are fake. These are very obviously fake, by the way. These patch notes were really, really well done to be faked, to be honest. Like, these are really believable, but then you read more into them. The English is really, really suspect. Like, this says increased distanced. Like, what? All in all, these patches, like, these notes are pretty cool, and I think most if not all of us would agree that some of these do need to be implemented but yeah that's all i wanted to talk about see ya